Hello, I am Tom Lucas, a local musician playing here on Kitsap Peninsula. Welcome to the Bremerton Kitsap Access Television production of Voices, Songwriters of Kitsap Peninsula. Each show will feature a song written by a local songwriter. I will perform the song, and then we will talk with the songwriter. Our song today is called Dance Till the Night Ends by Sweet Mary Farr. Some joyful noise, pick up the music, bang the boys. Let's have a party, call all of your friends. I said, dance, dance, dance till the night ends. Been a while since we've had a crowd. Stand in the kitchen, laughing out loud. See these brownies I recommend. I said, dance, dance, dance till the night ends. Our door is open, you can walk in the back. All are welcome, we don't keep track. Dance, dance, dance to some joyful noise. Laughing out loud can fill that void. Let's dance. Too many guitars, we don't care. Jesse hits the floor like Fred Astaire. Find me a partner and play me a go. Oh yeah, till the night's gone. Grab a friend, I said, dance, dance, dance till the night ends and let's dance. I wanna dance. You better dance. Come on and dance. Grab a shaker, make a new friend. I said, dance, dance, dance. Dance, dance, dance. Dance, dance, dance till the night ends. The song you just heard was written by today's guest, Sweet Mary Farr. After talking to the songwriter, our show will end with the original recorded version of the song. I would like to welcome Sweet Mary Farr. Hello, Mary. Welcome to the show. It's good to be here. Uh, I wanted to say that I, I enjoyed learning your tune. Um, it was interesting because I, I, I did some finger picking that I don't normally do, and there was some phrasing that just was just a little a little different than what I would usually do for a one, four, five, and so that was fun too. So let's get started with the interview. Um, my first question is, what was your inspiration for the song? Well, it's about a party. It's about having a good time. And prior to the pandemic, my husband and I, for probably close to 20 years, opened our home the day after Thanksgiving. We used to call it the pie and music party. And so our friends would come and jam, and we just would have a great time. Well, as most of us recall, there was a period where we weren't able to gather as easily. You're talking about COVID. During COVID, yeah. during the pandemic. And I, um, I was just in my kitchen one night and I remember, which often happens to me with songwriting, um, a song, the melody and the words just come to me. And I'm just in the okay. kitchen and I'm thinking, I hope we can have people in our kitchen again. So it was during that time. Sure, that the line the song. from the song uh, was standing in the kitchen laughing out loud. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, so I was going to ask you, how, how does writing work, music first or uh, the words first? But basically, you just told me that everything kind of came to you at the same time. It does for the songs that I've only, I'm not that prolific of a songwriter. Maybe I have about 25 songs. Okay. And uh, the ones that have been more lasting um, seem to come that way. But I, I have enjoyed uh, learning more about the craft of songwriting through the uh, Peninsula Songwriters Association. Sure. And Clark. I am challenging myself, uh -huh. yes, with Studebaker Clark, challenging myself to write in a different way and, and polish my craft a little bit more, not always wait till a song hits me. But when it hits you, it's fun. Oh, absolutely. I and understand. then you just grab a pen or you grab your guitar and 
and you go for what you're hearing. The uh, album, second time around, um, is your second solo album. Yes. Okay, so what's behind the title? Well, the first solo album uh, was, in, was titled uh, Around the Square, and that was dedicated to uh, my hometown where I grew up in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, okay. We had a beautiful town square, and, um, but you drove around it, so I was trying to do a little play on words around the square. When it came to second time around, it was my second time doing a studio recording of my original music. I do mention second time around in one of the songs on that album, Comfortable in Second Place, and I refer to um, having th hand-me-downs and things that are purchased second time around. Okay, so a little play on words there, yes. sure. Uh -huh. um, I understand that you invited members of a previous band, uh, Sweet Mary and Friends, to perform this particular song? Yes, yes, I worked with, um, uh, it was a quartet, um, uh, another another singer and uh, two guys, and uh, we we performed locally for about a year, year or more. And actually, the fellow that helped do the recordings, um, Russ Sultan, uh, was the guitarist in my group, Sweet Mary and Friends, and we performed that song after I wrote it. And I felt so honored that they would um, perform my original music because most of the time we we perform covers. Uh huh. And, okay. And so that was a song that they took to now. Where did you record that? Um, a little studio in Gig Harbor, Red Roof Studio. Oh, okay. Uh, Russ Salton. Sure. Uh, I think I've heard that name before. Absolutely. From my experience, most musicians need to have a day job uh, in order to pay the bills. Uh, from what you were telling me just before we started the interview, um, uh, you're not playing out as much as you were, but what, what was the peak uh, in, as far as performing for you when playing out goes? How, how, how did that go? Well, for me, I've had two callings in life. I was a teacher, I was a music teacher, and um, I taught school for 37 years. Oh boy, okay. When in 2013, I left teaching, and I was able to look at my passion, my other career, music. And so I performed quite frequently for, for about five years. Uh, when I say frequently, it's knocking on doors, coffee houses, and anywhere someone would say they wanted music, I was in. Okay. And, and, I, and I, that was uh, a couple years ago uh, for me now. Now I still really enjoy playing, and I enjoy playing at festivals and home concerts. I, I did a concert for the Fox Island Chapel that was just wonderful. Um, and so I play. Um, as a solo artist and uh, sometime with my friends. Um, I also know that you, uh, you do volunteer work uh, as a musician and you do uh, living room concerts, you were just mentioned. Well, that. yes, I do, uh, those are usually paid, but. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> by supportive people that like music. Um, I do volunteer um, my music at times for uh, different senior homes. Um, I like to bring music to people that don't have easy access. Uh, recently, I played for the Women's Correction Facility, uh -huh. and I'm hoping to be a regular um, performer there it w and, and volunteered my services, you know, for them, a concert of about 40 women. Okay, that's that a volunteer. Day. Yeah, I volunteered okay. to do that. That's very nice of you. Yeah. Um, last summer, I played at Port Townsend, the, the Point Wilson um, um, Lighthouse needs repair, and they were having a little concert out door concert to bring about community awareness. Mm -hmm. So basically, I'm into nonprofit um, for education, for our environment. You know, if it's a good cause and music's going to bring bring people together, I'm happy to do that. That's wonderful. If, Absolutely. If yes. a, of an establishment that is making some good money, um, I like to be paid. <laughs> I certainly understand that. Um, so for you, um, it, it's not about making it, uh, and I mean, that whole thing has changed over the last 20 years. Uh, in, in a way, you've already made it. So you're, you're in the community, you're playing constantly. Uh, and, uh, well, I, I, you know, I can appreciate that. Uh, and I think that it's very worthwhile. So, uh, what I wanted to say is, uh, there, one more question that I have for you is that, Working musicians can end up in really strange situations. 
uh, something that might have happened at a show or perhaps one of the strangest places you may have uh, played. What can you tell us about that? All right, the fun, the fun things that happen. When I first started to play back in 2013, I was working with a bluegrass band and um, I was very open to playing anywhere. And there was a, a, a tavern that we were booked to play at. It was in South Tacoma. Uh, South Tacoma Way somewhere, the tavern. I don't even know if the tavern is still there. And, um, and so we're all tuned up and in the middle of a song, I'm singing Wildwood Flower, you know, the Carter family. I'm just playing my guitar and singing. And I notice there's something, I thought, are those streamers on the ceiling? And I'm looking up at the ceiling. It was a little distracting because there was some fans and stuff. And, and, and then I, I look closer, it's like, Oh, that's a bra. That's a very shiny red bra. Oh, I see. You know, and, and I'm still singing this sweet little, and then I look and there's bras. There must have been 50 bras hanging from the ceilings. And at the time for me, it was just like, um, this is this is good, Mary. You know, don't <laughs> don't lose your focus, you know. What kind of place you am can I play? Playing? Yeah, yeah. And then I, as years went by, I just, I just learned, you know, once you're in the song, you're in the song. And... No matter what, you keep playing. Well, that might have been quite a moment for you. Then. It was just you funny. look up. I mean, maybe if I was playing, maybe if I was singing a Bonnie Raitt song or something, but I was like, sweet song and just didn't seem to fit. Well, thank you for sharing that with us. <laughs> I'm sure there's an image I'm going to take back home with me. <laughs> As we sign off, um, we'll be playing the recording of Sweet Mary singing Dance Till the Night Ends with Sweet Mary and Friends from her solo album, Second Time Around. Please take note of the information on the screen, which will direct you to their album uh, and their local shows right here in Kitsap. The goal of our show is to encourage folks to get out and see these local musicians in the venues that hire and support local music. Live music is connection. Come on out and connect with us and with each other. Thank you very much for coming, Mary. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Here it is, Dance Till the Night Ends, recorded by Sweet Mary Farr and Friends from her second album, Second Time Around. I want to find some joyful noise Kick up the music, dance with the boys Let's have a party, call all your friends Dance, dance, dance till the night ends It's been a while since we've had a crowd Stand in the kitchen laughing out loud Silvia's brownies I highly recommend Dance, dance, dance till the night ends Our door 